Hi, so uh, for the past six months, I've been reducing oxalates and lectins in my food, and I'm noticing that I'm getting more of a reaction with less of the things that I actually can eat. Um, and, uh, you know, this is due to kind of like some of the damage that's been done in my guts. And so I'm going to embark upon doing a uh, short fast, just water, as well as taking some uh, herbal capsules, which are quite astringent with the aim of reducing and taking away some of this mucus, which is kind of like causing half the problem, I think, from what is, uh, you know, causing me this underlying issue from what I've identified with the work with uh, Sal. So uh, my other reason for doing this really are, uh, I know full well that, you know, this poisoning that I get in toxicity in my stomach and intestines is giving me a brain fog, uh, it makes me feel lethargic, it makes me feel melancholic. Um, my lymph nodes in my ears swell up, which then cause ear pain, I get sinus problems, I get dental pain, I get pain all over my body, I get pain in areas where I've had you know, mechanical problems with my uh, spine and with my knee and from an old injury from my foot and these just kind of get exacerbated whenever I eat anything which seems to a degree with what uh, my guts are up to. Um, so uh, the aim is to kind of like undertake this so that I can give my body a chance to detox and heal so that um, you know I don't have these ongoing problems with foods that shouldn't be causing me a problem. Um, and um, you know I've done some intermittent fasting before and I've also got off into the jungle and done the diata as part of the ayahuasca ceremonies and you know for my own kind of like progression with consciousness so I'm familiar with this although I'm very resistant very scared about undertaking a fast for I think for about seven days in total um, however you know I know that I can do this and it's a good challenge as well and I'm always really good at keen to see the feedback that my body gives me um, so I'm hoping that it's going to reduce uh, my eczema flare-ups which are in part related to kind of anger. I notice when I get angry or something, this kind of like activates it, flares it, although foods also do that as well. So what's the space? So this is uh, day one of my uh, seven, eight day fast, uh, which I'm doing just to kind of like give my system a reset. And uh, it's involving taking couple of these every uh, two times a day. Uh, the uh, recipe has been devised by Sal based upon uh, his uh, conversations with Charlie. So day two, Woo uh, I'm just dreaming of food really. Um, it uh, is really heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm feeling quite blocked in my sinuses, uh, my eyes are burning, my intestines uh, feel like they've got barbed wire running through them, lots of grumbling going on, me trying to diversify my diet of uh, still water, sparkling water, some water with a little bit of salt in for some electrolytes, um, hot water, did I mention that one? Um, oh, and some bone broth. Uh, keeping up with my magnesium, uh, uh, vitamin C, selenium, iodine, and uh, something else. Maybe my brain is a little bit foggy, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to go for a little walk, get on with my day, keep things light, and uh, stop dreaming about food. Yeah, this is definitely one of the biggest challenges I've done. I mean, I've done intermittent fasting before, combining it with uh, plant medicines to help shift things is uh, definitely, definitely a real challenge. Well, it's a trip, I'll tell you. Um, my energy levels are pretty good, though last night I went to bed and um, I was getting immense pain around my ears and my sinuses and my lower back, uh, nauseous feeling. I didn't get any sleep. I was basically getting a migraine. Um, 
you know, I've been having issues with my ears and the lymph nodes around here. Um, so it's a sense of things releasing. I know now that my cells are in a state where they're regenerating as well as my liver, you know, detoxifying and heart going quite fast. Um, and um, yeah, this this inflammation of, like in the middle of my back from like a slight scoliosis I've got. Um, it's like all of my pre-existing conditions are getting worse, um, but today much better. The hunger pangs have been terrible, um, but today I feel like I've turned a page. Um, it was hell last night, especially, um, but um, I'm feeling pretty good. Although I just went for a walk uh, to go get some more bones to make some broth. That bag felt very heavy. My arm's hurting now. And then I had to walk up a sh little short flight of stairs and I'm, I'm out of breath. Um, gonna have a little nap. And uh, yeah, it's definitely, it, it's a, this is an extreme thing to be doing, but I'm already seeing the benefits of it. So I'm persevering with it. Um, and um, yeah. Still uh, nothing interesting coming out the other end untoward, but um, I guess that's, that's to come. Today, really up the dose of uh, some of these, uh, uh, yeah, God, definitely got a brain fog, can't think properly. Definitely a, 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 a reaction to what I'm taking. Some of the plant materials I'm okay to take, but I'm a little bit sensitive with them. So things like uh, fenugreek and uh, I think there's ginger, those kind of things. Uh, that seems to be causing a bit of uh, discomfort, shall we say. Um, but, uh, you know, this is uh, an astringent and it's what's required. So persevering on. Um, yeah. I'll let you know what happens tomorrow. Another day, another fast. I've increased the amount of uh, colon cleanse tablets or capsules and ooh, really feeling it down below. But up here, a lot clearer. Although I've got this weird vein that's appeared here. I have a lot of tension um, going on. But um, yeah, the other thing is uh, I've, I get this kind of like, random reactive eczema from food which is kind of like coming on my nose and also on my hands which is almost kind of gone i'll um include a picture of what it's like when it's its worst it's really horrible it's really angry my nose is really angry and it gets really angry about my face so that's good that's clearing up too um my head feels a bit clearer i'm sleeping really well um I still feel really hungry, but I see the benefits of what I'm doing and uh, nearly there. Tomorrow is another colon cleanse day. Today is a rest day. So it's alternating between taking the tablets and not taking them and increasing the amount. Um, and uh, yeah, onwards. So here I am on day five of my uh, fast. It's, uh, it's getting easier. Um, my energy is really good, I'm sleeping really well. Although I've been for a walk today and oh, I feel like an old man. It's like... But um, definitely um, feeling the benefits of this. And uh, things are starting to move downstairs. I'm really concerned about um, how would I describe this? The jelly that was coming out, um, which is uh, all the mucus that I've been holding inside of my colon um, and intestines. Um, yeah, what other things have I noticed? The pain in my back and the inflammation's gone. Um, and uh, yeah, another interesting one is that um, I've had uh, a benign cyst um in my uh in my scrotum attached to my testicles i've had it scanned it's all fine it's it's nothing 
but it's about the size of a, a grape. It's actually now gone to about that size. It's more like a, a little, a little pearl, I would say. Um, that's quite interesting how that's occurring. Um, I've had this bit of a vein coming up on here. I don't know if this is to do with all the blood pressure work and all this kind of pain from the, uh, the lymph nodes around my ears. I'm still got a bit of a headache. It's kind of pushing in a little bit, but yeah, my sinuses are a lot clearer. Um, my brain's a lot clearer. Today was another big dose of those pills. Got to take another second lot of that. Really looking forward to having a break from those tomorrow. And then Monday, the final set. And then I can eat some more food and back to normal. So another day at it. It's getting easier. I'm feeling much uh, clearer in my head, clearer in my thoughts. Um, the the urge for food, ooh, I mean, it still goes on. I'm not going to die. It usually gets me about nine o'clock at night, so I'm just going to bed early, which is um, quite unusual for me. Uh, the day off the uh, digestive stimulators, those capsules, and um, yeah, just uh, bored of drinking water. So today I decided I needed to get out of the house and get back into nature, be with the cows, mm, by the water. Uh, I've got really blurred vision and um, I'm very exhausted, but at the same time restless. This is a real recipe for uh, shitness, really, I feel. I just feel very tired. Um, my knees hurt, my ankles hurt, but I'm not thinking about food. Today's the last day of taking um, my uh, gut cleansing tablets, um, capsules, I keep saying tablets. Um, and then tomorrow, the last day, back to food, back to life. Hi, so I wanted to make this one last video because I've looked back at these other videos and I look terrible and I felt terrible and it was terrible. And I just want to kind of like inspire people if you are going to embark upon this, that there is another side and that obviously your body can heal and you get back to life and you feel a lot better. Um, so it's been two days now and I've been very gentle with myself reintroducing food and uh, I'm really loving it and it's wonderful and I'm having really good um, bowel movements and it's wonderful not taking those capsules anymore and having full compass ability of my brain. I'm very creative, um, I've got a lot of energy, I've been working on some very nice projects um, I'm very motivated. I've got my tenaciousness back. I feel optimal. I feel charged um, and um, very optimistic, actually. Um, so this was just a quick one, really, just to show what the uh, hopefully good final effects are. I feel good for it. And um, yeah, good luck if you're going to embark upon this. Only for the brave, but I think we can all do it. And um, at the end of it, there's that real sense of achievement. I feel more fearless about life. I'm not afraid of myself as much anymore. I think there's been a lot of doubt, a lot of fear. I've been prepping myself for this for weeks. Um, so I'm very proud that I've done this as well. Um, it's a real achievement. I don't know how people do this for two weeks. I don't know how they do it for a month. But I'll tell you this, if I did have something terminal or something serious like typhoid, I could do it, I would do it. I would go and bathe in the water, drink my water and suck it up for the month because this is very powerful medicine. And um, combined with these capsules, you know, it's really helped to kind of like draw things out. Uh, medicine isn't meant to be nice, is it, always? <laughs>